What is going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei and welcome back to Let's Create an Action Role Playing Game using Unreal Engine 4. So in today's video we are going to be working on the lock on system one more time. We are going to be implementing target switching when you are locked on. So if you are looking at an enemy and you are locked on to them and you press this certain button, you will switch to the other closest enemy around. When the enemy you are locked on to dies, the next enemy will automatically be selected or will automatically be locked on to so we are gonna check that out right now before we start please make sure to hit the like button which would really support the channel and help me make more videos and make sure to subscribe if you want to take a look at more game development content and game dev tutorials and let us get started so the first thing we will need for target switching is actually a brand new input so if you go to project settings to the inputs folder we are gonna go there and make a new input or input action for the target switching so you go to action mappings press plus and then i'm gonna name it switch target and the button for that i'm actually gonna go with e i haven't played dark souls on the pc i've said that a million times so i'm not sure about the controls usually when you are playing with a controller it's actually the same control stick as the camera so to do that you only need to add a variable before the movement of the camera it, for whether if you are locked on or not and then if you are locked on you will not move the camera to the sides the game you know if that's true if you are locked on then the target switching will activate but i'm not gonna do that right now it's not really necessary so i'm just gonna go with a normal button press to move between the enemies that are close so yeah we have bp base we are gonna go in there and go to the lock on system to see what we need to do so if you go to BP base and oh we are already there I'm actually gonna close them and open them again because I, I want it I want to guide you guys from the start how to get there you know we have it in our combat graph so if you press on the combat graph we have the lock on over here we are gonna do the target switching over here next to the lock on and it's gonna be its own node it's not gonna be in here so I'm just gonna type an in input switch target and there you go you have input action switch target and when you press switch target the first thing you want to do is you actually want to ask it if it is locked on so if it's not locked on you don't want to do anything and if it is locked on then you want to switch targets so do a branch and check if it is locked on so here we have added a branch and I'm gonna go to the character stats, no that's not it, references, no, combat conditions and we have locked on over here with the variables and just ask it, are you locked on? And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna collapse this into a node already because you know this is going to take a lot of nodes and it's better to do it organized so i'm going to call the node target switching and i'm going to go inside of it so now that we have locked on what we want to do is we actually need to do a sphere trace for objects and we want to find the nearest enemy which all we already have a function for but this time we are actually going to do it a little bit different because we want to ignore the character that we are locked on to so if you go to the lock on node you will have this function called get nearest enemy if you open it you can see that we have this sphere trace for objects and yeah we have a lot of stuff here we check to see the actor location and we check if they are an enemy we are gonna do some edits but we are gonna copy this entirely and do the edits where we want to paste this so just copy this then go back to the target switching node and paste this over here and this is how it looks i'm gonna move the input far away okay so if it is true if we are locked on we are gonna ignore this one and just do the sphere trace i don't think we're gonna need this but let us see if it works without it and then after the sphere trace, we want to make an array for ignore actors to ignore. 
So we want to ignore the character that we are locked on to. So because, you know, we are already locked on to them. So we don't want to lock on to them once again. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the locked on to character reference and paste it over here. And then I'm going to connect it to the actors to ignore. And as you can see, it makes an array and it ignores the locked on to. So now it will not include them in the sphere trace for objects. Then we have this for each loop. We're not going to touch it is an enemy. We are also not going to touch th this. We are actually going to work on the party system later, but for now, let's just not touch it. Is valid nearest enemy. We are not going to touch it. Actually, yeah, I think we're not going to touch anything over here. So all of this, we actually want to comment on it. So I'm just going to select all of them, type, press C and do a comment. I'm going to call this get new nearest enemy. There you go. So now this will only get the nearest enemy. It will not lock on or anything. So what we are going to do is we are actually going to lock on and this is the last node. It's not this one. So yeah, I'm just going to extend this a little bit and we are going to start here. So what we are going to do now is we are actually going to lock off. So just drag out of here and type in lock on and we should have the uh, yeah it's this one and we're gonna keep it false so first we are gonna lock off from the enemy that we are locked onto at the moment and then we are gonna lock on again to the other to the new nearest enemy so over here we don't need a target we don't need anything we are also gonna disable the lock on reticle so just type in also lock on and yeah oh no we don't need it like this we're actually gonna get it from the locked on to so just drag out of here and if you type in lock on reticle message this is the one we want to disable so connect it to the lock on off and that should be all of it for locking off the enemy that we are currently locked onto. So for this one, I'm actually going to call it lock off current enemy. And now we are going to continue with the rest of it. So now we want to get the nearest enemy and we want to ask, is he an enemy? And if he is, then we are going to you know, we are gonna lock onto them and enable the lock on reticle on them. So we are just gonna drag out of it. And here it is, is an enemy. And you're supposed to type the party number, but that system is just not working. So I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. Then I'm gonna lock on. So if you drag out from the nearest enemy again, then type in lock on. And that should be it. Then you want to do this and make sure that this is true. Or you can just do it like this. If it is true, if he is an enemy, then we are going to lock on. And then one last time, we are going to get the lock on reticle and enable it. So just type in lock on reticle and do it like this. This one will also be here. And we compile. I'm actually. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm actually going to call this lock on new enemy. And yeah, that should be about it. So if we test it out now, it should actually work. So where are our enemies? If we go to the enemies and we lock on, then we press E you can see that the target switching actually works now. That's very impressive. But when you kill the enemy, you can see that you don't actually lock onto the next enemy. So we are actually gonna change that. We are gonna go to the area where we check the damage 
or and we determine the entire death thing we disable everything and we play the death animation and we already have this lock off here and I'm just gonna delete it and instead of it what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna get the target switch oh yeah first first I forgot that we can go back to the uh, get yeah we should go back to the lock off area or the target switching uh, node and what we need to do is we actually need to put this all into an event for in the interface so first I don't need this so I'm just gonna delete it and yeah we're just gonna go to the interface so character action stats and we just need to do it again so I'm just gonna call it lock on target switching and compile and then we are just gonna do the event for it so lock on target switching event lock on target switching and you just connect it to the first one and that should just work or you know you could actually connect it directly over here I think that's what I did the last time I tried this so I'm just gonna check yeah I definitely didn't add it for the uh, locked on actually no let's just keep it for the branch we are gonna need the branch so you don't need to do target switching when you are not locked on so this is very important it's better this way so now we are gonna go back to the check damage and we are just gonna implement that event over here so I'm just gonna type in lock on target switching there we go and connect it to the set movement on to be false and now if you compile and play and you go to the enemy and kill them I think it should immediately lock on to the next enemy so if you kill the enemy you can see that it actually locks on to the next enemy but there is a problem with it and that is that if you kill the other enemy and there are no other enemies around you will actually stay locked on until you lock off yourself and that is a huge problem so I actually still haven't fixed that oh sorry about that I'm actually still on my old PC for this video so it still has these average issues I really should move the tutorials on the new PC because you know that's what I bought it that's why I bought it uh, but yeah we just wanna lock off when we are when we kill both enemies and I think the other way to do that is yeah I think we need to go back to the target switching place and we want to check if there are still any enemies so if there are no recent and if there are no enemies around that should lock off but I'm not sure how to do it actually I haven't done it in my test project so I don't think I can figure it out right now okay so we check if there are re nearest enemies and if it is not valid then we can lock off directly can we try that i really hope my pc doesn't explode while i'm doing this but i feel like it's very i'm very close to having it finished entirely working but if i don't figure it out right now i'm gonna have to delay this for another part so i mean i planned this to be the final part of the lock on system yeah it didn't lock off no I don't think this is gonna work okay so I'm actually gonna do this in the next video this video is already long enough so we are gonna fix this issue in the next video when I figure out how to fix it I know that it's something very simple probably and if you guys know what the solution is or what it could be please let me know I'm actually gonna try to figure it out and do the next video as soon as possible so if you guys have enjoyed this video and found it useful please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel that would be really useful and yeah thank you to my precious patrons who are supporting this series and getting the project files in return thank you very much and yeah i will see you next time take care have a great day and bye